All right, so the first thing that we want to do is install ProBuilder and ProGrids. Now, you're looking at my screen, you probably already see that I have ProBuilder, and this here is ProGrids. So, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And let's go up here to Window. We're going to go down to Package Manager. Now, here it says In Project, and of course, if you see Pro Builder and Pro Grids here, that just means that you already have it. Um, however, if you don't, just go ahead and hit all. And you want to scroll down until you see Pro Builder and Pro Grids. Click on Pro Builder. Here you should see something that says install. And for Pro Grids, the same thing. You just want to hit that. Uh, once you do it, it may take some time. So um, give it a little time. Um, but once they're both done, you want to go ahead and select the X here to close out this box. All right, perfect. All right, so once you install it, if you don't already have this showing on your screen, you want to come up here to your menus and hit Tool, and you're going to see Pro Builder and Pro Grids. We're going to hover over Pro Builder, go down to Pro Builder window and click. And it should show up something like this. And of course, what's great about this is that you can put it wherever you want it, really, if you want it over here or down below. Um, I typically use it on the left side. I know some people who like to use it this way. Um, this way is completely legit. Um, but for me, I typically like to use it here. Um, so generally, that's pretty much it for installing Pro Builder and Pro Grids. Now, in regards to PolyBrush, we're not going to install that just yet. That will require us to go onto the Asset Store to install PolyBrush, and that's simply because they haven't added it to the Package Manager just yet. Um, that particular plugin or asset is still a, a working beta, um, but we definitely will go over it in later videos. Our next video will be about going over the new shape tool here and we're also going to take a look at some of the preferences for pro builder and how these can help you in your workflow in regards really just to changing things like icons and changing the size of different things or maybe moving some elements around like this here so anyway i'll see you guys in the next video thanks